Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Do a Level of Mercy 2 Battles of Ardenia expansion in the final mission. Where Wolf's Folly, where we have now uh, have to defeat Dorfega for the third time. The first two weren't easy, difficult enough. Extra blade, and a little armor. Yeah, my heroes are definitely getting kitted out. Let's keep this economy running. All right, that's all my heroes back on their feet. So here is Sartre Tor Vega. He's got quite the entourage. It's quite the entourage. I'm saying Sartre. It is Don Basilio de Tor Vega. Not, let's not get ahead of the facts. My ambition has paid off. I'll try my best. Well, the only problem with the heroes that I've picked is that I don't really have any area of effect spells that I can use against them. Mm. That actually might be useful. Your Highness, we've improved the guard tower. Alright, I think we're ready. Ish. Your Highness, our research is complete. Right. Let's set the kill order on his lackeys. And unleash the spirit of kings. Right, Don Basilio de Torvega. My power grows. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand! Good One day yeah. I'll lose a fight, but not today. And there go the assassins again. This range attack ability is really, really annoying. My ambition has paid off. Give me a hand! My power grows! Give me a hand! Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly empty! I forgot to set the timer. Now that he is going down, but he's definitely a slow Give me process. a hand! Give me a hand! Help a lady, please! Kings to help out. Help a lady, please. Give me a hand. A reward for Give me a hand. Give me a Clever hand. Their dying is definitely not. Knowledge and skill grow. Hard work is its own reward. Give me a hand. Help a lady, please. Help a lady, please. Hard work is his own reward! Who's 
Underneath half. As long as the caravans keep coming in, I can bring here with them. No. Don't want to lose the mages. That's a lot of firepower. Give me a hand. My soul blazes bright. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Aquella smiles upon me. Ooh. One day I'll lose a fight. Come on, come on, come on. Bunnies, please. Help a lady, please. Give me a hand. Help a lady, please. All right, he's almost down. Give me a hand. Help a lady, please, for my toil. I can't handle it alone! Help a lady, please! Give me a hand! Help a lady, please! He's down to his last sliver. Help a lady, please! I'm losing too many. Clerics. Give me a hand. Ah, I shall have to look upon his true form. No, who knew he had such an ace up his sleeve? <laughs> Your true form is truly terrifying. On that day, the great ruler proclaimed that the people of Ardania would once again worship the God of Winds. For Lunard himself had lent his aid in the defeat of the wicked Torvega. Overcome by the power of the God of Night, the villain had suffered a severe and well-deserved punishment. Indeed he had. And so ends the Majesty 2 Battles of Ardenia expansion. Quite a ride. Turmoil in the kingdom, werewolves, beasts flaring up everywhere, internal strife and holy conflict. Truly the all-out package. Oh, and in case you're feeling sorry for uh, Basilio de Torvega, don't. He's got a very staunch... Hmm assistance he gets some very good assistance in the form of Helia later on in life when out of sheer uh, not compassion mm, not regret severe spite for Lunord Helia will reverse the curse done upon uh, Torvega just to show how petty these gods can be but this is not where it ends, of course. Because there's a reason why Lunort was kicked out of the Holy Conclave. And I'm fairly certain that whoever was in charge of that conclave is not all that happy about a king messing with uh, divine affairs. There might be some repercussions for what he what the Majesty has done today. But for now, Ardenia is peaceful again. Of course, it doesn't end here, because there were three expansions. 
As for the next expansion, well... Ah, that's gonna be a slight change of pace. But you'll see that all next time. Thank you for watching.